Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Al Fatih. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Order Number no. 23 of 2020, appointing representatives of Bahrain on the advisory board of the GCC Supreme Council. The Royal Order stipulates the appointment of Dr. Sheikh Maryam bin Hassan Al Khalifa, Nasser Yusuf Al Amadi, Ali Abdullah Al Aradi, Dr. Abdullah Khalifa Al Dawadi, Ahmed Sabah Al Saloum. The board members are appointed for a three-year term. The Prime Minister shall implement the order that uh, takes effect on the day following its publication in the official Gazette. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the President of Egypt, Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, during which they reviewed the deep-rooted historic fraternal relations between the two countries, as well as means of developing cooperation and coordination at all levels. The latest Arab and regional developments were also discussed, where His Majesty affirmed the Kingdom's support of the Egyptian initiative aimed at maintaining peace, stability and prosperity in Libya, and unifying the Arab stance in rejecting foreign interferences, as as well as calling on the international community to support this initiative to maintain peace and stability in the region. His Majesty the King wished the people of Egypt further progress and prosperity under the leadership of President Assisi. The Egyptian President expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty for Bahrain's honorable stance towards Egypt and its people in support of joint Arab action. The President of the Supreme Council of for Health and Head of the National Medical Team for Combating Coronavirus, Lieutenant General Sheikh Dr. Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, delivered a speech in a lecture on the history of epidemic control in Bahrain held remotely and organized by Isa Cultural Center and presented by the doctor and specialized researcher in medical history, Mohammed Ahmed Jauhar, in the presence of over 100 participants. Dr. Mohammed bin Abdullah hailed the efforts of the historical Document Center at Isa Cultural Center for establishing the heritage of Bahrain and its accomplishments. He stated that history is a basis for progress in managing the present and planning the future, asserting that Bahrain proved its high capability and competence in handling the coronavirus as a result of the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Premier bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. For his part, Sheikh Dr. Khalid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa called on the youngest specialists and researchers in various professional and cognitive fields to document the kingdom's history and achievements in various fields. The Minister of Education, Majid bin Ali Naimi, participated in the virtual concluding ceremony of the second edition of the school's Olympiad, Entrepreneurship and Innovation, Achieving Sustainable Development Goals 2030, organized by the Investment and Technology Promotion Offices and the Arab Center for Entrepreneurship and Investment under United Nations Industrial Development Organization in cooperation with the Secretary Education Administration. The ceremony was held remotely in the presence of the President of the Investment and Technology Promotion Offices, Dr. Hisham Hussain, and representatives of the schools that qualified for the final. The minister affirmed the ministry's keenness on developing students' skills and their interest in adopting artificial intelligence and achieving the requirements of sustainable development, which stems from the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Spring Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince. Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Minister of Education hailed the competition, which witnessed a remarkable turnout from high school students, noting its major role in spreading the culture of innovation and entrepreneurship among students. For his part, Dr. Rasham Hussain delivered a speech in which he commended the cooperation of the ministry in organizing the competition and in training coordinating teachers to hone their skills in the field of entrepreneurship and the competition's requirements. The Minister of Health, Faiqa bin Saeed al Saleh, participated in the third extraordinary meeting of health ministers in GCC states to discuss developments of the coronavirus pandemic. The ministers appreciated the efforts made by the GCC ministries to combat the pandemic in a manner that guarantees the safety of citizens and residents in the GCC states. They reviewed ways to enhance cooperation between them and plans to prepare for and respond to future pandemics. Al Saleh praised the great 
efforts led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to combat coronavirus within a team spirit that contributed to preserving the health and safety of citizens and residents in Bahrain. A press conference was held earlier to discuss the latest developments of COVID-19. The Undersecretary of the Ministry of Health, Dr. Walid El Mana, affirmed the importance of following instructions and assuming responsibility in order to protect the community against the virus. He affirmed the Ministry's keenness to take the necessary measures in regards to precautionary measures and legal actions will be taken against violators. Dr. El Mana praised the creative initiatives and efforts of Team Bahrain in dealing with the corona crisis. He added that funerals should be attended by family members only and take the precautionary measures as well as wearing masks and gloves, avoiding handshakes and apply social distancing. Dr. Almana then said that the coordination committee led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince approved allowing internal and external training for professional athletes and national clubs according to certain standards in addition to allowing local tournaments by mid-July without an audience. He expressed thanks and appreciation to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for its efforts in coordinating with all embassies in the kingdom to raise awareness among various communities in order to combat the virus. Dr. Almana then stated that the percentage of recoveries reached 70.45%. Infectious diseases consultant and microbiologist at the BDF Hospital, Lieutenant Colonel Dr. Menaf Al Kahtani, said that the number of random tests were increased, which explains the rising number of cases. He added that until today, more than 60,000 suspected cases were tested. He added that the kingdom started its plan to combat the virus early and then applied the plasma treatments and opened doors for plasma donations at the blood bank at the military hospital, in addition to forming a team responsible to carry out clinical research related to the coronavirus headed by the commander of the Royal Medical Services at the military hospital, Major General Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa. Self-management project manager for government hospitals in the Supreme Council for Health, Lieutenant Colonel Dr. Ahmed Mohammed Al Ansari expressed thanks and appreciation to the people of Bahrain for their commitment to precautionary measures as well as praised the medical, security services and media caters in this regard. He stressed the importance of committing to social distancing and follow all instructions issued from official bodies in order to return to normalcy. He added that with awareness and commitment, Bahrain can control and overcome this pandemic. Consultant of Infectious and Internal Diseases at Salmania Medical Complex, Dr. Jamila Salman, affirmed that the Ministry of Health are increasing their daily tests and that so far more than 438,000 tests were conducted. She added that the rise in recovery cases is thanks to the implementation protocol as well as the continuous medical treatment, adding that so far 13,866 cases have fully recovered and discharged. She stressed the importance at wearing the face mask, commit to social distancing and contact 444 if anyone experiences any symptom. The capital governor, Sheikh Hisham bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa, participated in the Tarabut program held remotely and organized by Bahrain Institute for Political Development, BIPD, in line with the initiatives of the national plan to promote the spirit of belonging to the nation and reinforce the values of nationalism with a wide participation from the government's residents. Sheikh Hisham bin Abdullah affirmed that the continuous progress and prosperity in the governorate and the kingdom as a whole is a result of the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the support of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. He noted that the governorate plays important roles in supervising the implementation of the state's general policy and in the following up on development plan projects in implementation of the directives of the Minister of Interior General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. He added that the governorate has devised the best tools that simplify communication with citizens and residents, which stems from its belief in the importance of enhancing means of communication with residents. 
The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 5,634 with 599 recoveries, 540 registered new cases and two deaths. The new registered cases include 349 expatriate workers, 187 contacts of active cases and four travel-related. The disease to were 64-year-old and 57-year-old male citizens. The Ministry of Health urges everyone to adhere to the rules and affirm the importance of following instructions such as washing one's hands with soap on a regular basis along with avoiding shaking hands and close contact moreover covering the nose and the mouth when sneezing and avoiding public spaces whenever possible